Well, good morning, everybody. I've been sitting here talking to myself for four minutes. <laughs> man, oh man, that was terrible. I'm like, I'm having technical difficulties. What is it? What's the problem? And nobody was answering me. And I thought, well, that's odd. They're usually so good about that. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. And you are in our Situation Room, a Monday through Friday virtual stitching retreat where we just kind of hang out here and have a good time. It's a great way to start your day. Uh, yeah, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm telling you, I'm sitting here going, da -da 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 -da, let me show you this. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my world. <laughs> too fun, too fun. All right. If you're brand new here, please let us know. We've got a virtual kitchen over on the other side of the quilting retreat, stitching retreat. Uh, and while you're on your way in there, there's a button on the wall that has a thumbs up. Just pop it on your way in and keep on going and go get you some goodies. Yeah, good morning to everybody. I'm talking to myself again. I know, Melanie, I was having a staff meeting. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my goodness, how come nobody's talking to me? And I look up on the StreamYard thing and it says, it's showtime. And I'm all, what? Because I'm supposed to be on already. <laughs> oh, thank you, Made by Margie. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm laughing too, Made by Margie. Hold on a second here. I saw something that went by. Rinse and repeat. That's us, you guys. That's what we do. Thank you. This is what I'm looking for. Victoria, thank you so much. And thank you for watching. Um, I did the Sewing Machines Plus Live. They're having their quilt fest this week. So if you do not want to watch any of the garbage on TV, you can jump over to Sewing Machine Plus's YouTube channel. And they're doing quilt fest all week. It's a big, long, week-long infomercial of course. But what you get in that is all kinds of tips and tutorials and interviews and all kinds of fun stuff. So there's always something interesting there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Internet is really slow. Franny, thank you so much for your super sticker. That's so thoughtful. Thank you so much. You're thinking about the Butler, Kathy Ann. I loved that Butler software. Uh, my only beef with the my only beef with the butler at the time was that if you needed support from Quilt Easy, who makes the butler, you had to pay an annual fee. However, if you buy the butler through Sew Machines Plus, they provide all the support that you need. So I highly recommend that that embroidery autom um, that long arm automation. I liked it, and I even have a couple of videos, not a lot, but uh, two or three videos on the Butler software out on my YouTube channel from way back. Butler is automation uh, for your long arm. And if your long arm has a stitch regulator on it, then you can add automation. And Butler is a third party aftermarket, but it is sold by Sewing Machines Plus and they have technicians who know that software. Um, there's not that much training on it out there, but uh, it's, it's good software and it has a reasonable price point. One of the things I forgot to mention on, oh, I didn't turn on my little lights underneath my long arm yesterday. Did I? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention. So the way pro stitcher, which is automation software is, uh, set up is like by default, it only works with Pro Stitcher Premium only works with 20 inch long arms or bigger, but on the King Quilter Elite, it works on this one and it's an 18. So I have Pro Stitcher Premium. I didn't say premium. I should have. It was not Pro Stitch. I don't have Pro Stitcher Lite. I got Pro Stitcher Premium. Anyway, very cool stuff. I need to learn it. So I'm going to do some stitching today. I'm over here with Darla. This is my Luminaire. And uh, we're going to stitch out the uh, On Wander Lane, Bunny Knoll On Wander Lane. We're going to digitize the whole thing. and Not the whole thing, the mini that I'm going to make. I'm going to do the Hoppy Easter, this one right here. Focus. There we go. The bunny with the three eggs. I swear I've done this one before. 
but I've already got my pieces for it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Hey, by the way, I can appreciate this very much because my son is a pastor. Hold on. I need coffee. I have had some requests from you guys that are not comfortable for spiritual reasons, making the happy Halloween quilt. Totally, totally get that. So I have linked below another Amy Bradley quilt right below the happy Halloween quilt for the supplies blog post right underneath that. There is a, um, no, I did not say Pro Stitcher Plus would not work with some machines. No, Renee, I did not say that. I have heard. No, I, I did not say that. It's Pro Stitcher Premium or Light, one or the other. I don't know anything about Pro Stitcher Plus. And you guys, I'm not a handy quilter educator, so I'm not savvy on that. I know that Pro Stitcher Premium only works on machines that are 20 inch throats or larger. I don't know where I heard that. I heard it on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, no coffee, no worky. Right. That freaked me out. I do not want to be giving out misinformation. So anyway, there is an adorable Amy Bradley Merry Christmas quilt. And it's got Santas and snowmen and reindeer and da 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 that kind of thing. I have linked that right below. You can do the exact same process to make snaplique the way I do using that quilt. If you want to follow along, but you didn't want to make the happy Halloween quilt, you can really do it with any applique pattern that you have, but that way um, it's kind of, you know, it looks the same because it's an Amy Bradley design. So yeah, yeah. Different option. Absolutely different option. Now there's no fabric kit for that one. Okay. I do intend on making that kit, that quilt using snaplique. So you're just getting a jump on it. All right. But there's no fabric kit for it. But you guys, for the most part, you can source your own fabrics. Just get some red and some white and some brown and, you know, I'll show it to you. Let me show you. This is super cute too, you guys. Let me present. Oh, I need to find, uh, <clears throat> Let me show you. Oh, I need to pull up that pattern first here. I'm letting you guys look at my ear. <laughs> Let me go to their search and type in Merry Christmas. I just love these patterns. Super cute. Okay, here we go. Present, share screen, and... There we go. Super cute, you guys. It's a pattern download. Okay. There it is. We've got a gingerbread, a Santa, Mrs. Santa, a penguin, a snowman. Somebody got into the lights there. Yeah. And a bear, a nutcracker, and an angel. So cute. Okay. So there's your alternative if you guys are not into making Halloween quilts. Exact same process. Please use my link below the video if you want to make that one with us, okay? So it is cute, and I am going to make that. Um, I have talked to uh, Julie and Nicole down at Two Chicks. Y'all, I have so many Julies in my life. I got Julie at Two Chicks Quilting, and I got Julie from Designs by Juju. So when I'm talking to my husband about what's going on in the world here, I have to say Julie or Juju. <laughs> uh Tina, get you that bigger hoop, my friend. Go big or go home. I want to make it all too. But I am planning on doing another snaplique quilt, that Merry Christmas one. We will probably begin, I don't know, July, August timeframe. Okay. So I've got, yeah, now you have to make them both. I know, right? Now the Happy Halloween one, my son's a pastor. He doesn't want that one, but I will make the Merry Christmas one and send it to them this year. I will get that. I know. So adorable. So adorable. Hey, you guys. Yesterday, somebody, I'm not going to say who, took a picture from the Happy Halloween pattern and do I have it? 
I don't know if I have the happy Halloween pattern right here. I do not. Somebody took the overall photo. Let me get, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on. Y'all talk amongst, amongst yourselves for just a second. Okay. So probably not even thinking about it. I'm not being ugly. Okay. But probably not even thinking about it. Somebody created an SVG of, mm, here it is. It's in the pattern. They created an SVG of this right here, which is the pattern layout box. Not, if, if it would have been a JPEG or a graph, like a picture, that would have been one thing. But they created an SVG of this right here and threw it out on my Facebook group. And a uh, eagle-eyed uh, conscientious member of our Facebook group messaged me right away and let me know that that was there. And you guys, you can't do that. You cannot share SVG files. Because if somebody wanted to, because it was uploaded in an SVG format, if they wanted to, it could be blown up, broken apart, and pattern stolen. Okay. So please, please, please do not share SVG files of any type, um, on the Facebook group. Now I allow them on there. I don't know if I can block by file type or whatever, but I allow them on there because sometimes I share an SVG. But, uh, just so you know, you guys, when you start digitizing these images, you cannot share you can't share. And I don't think, I don't think she meant anything by it, but you guys, if I especially do not want that in my Facebook group, because if it word gets out that, Oh, there's free patterns, SVG files on power tools with thread. Um, I will be, I will be shunned from the industry. Okay. And it all will come to a screeching halt. It is an SVG. Once you scan it. Yes. J Mac. Yes. Okay. C kind of. Let me. An SVG is a scalable vector graphic. Okay. That's the kind that you can make big, make small, whatever, and it won't pixelate. All right. It can be manipulated and moved apart and all of that. Um, once you scan it into the scan and cut, the scan and cut uses a file type called FCM. And the FCM is also a scalable vector graphic. It's just a different file extension. Instead of .svg, it says .fcm, okay? You cannot, no, none of those on the, in the ethos, please. You cannot share them. You cannot sell them. Uh, you can't post them in the Facebook group. That's a, and she's not in trouble, but I did send her a note and said, this contains an SVG, which can actually make the quilt. So the post has been removed and uh, please do not do that again. She's not in trouble though. Don't even remember her name, but it's all about respecting the intellectual property of our uh, designers. Okay. And SVGs, once you put it out there, they'll be grabbed by whoever and it'll be gone and yeah. So, okay. <laughs> oh, awesome, Candace. That's good. Candace got the Christmas pattern, signed up for the newsletter and got a discount. Excellent. That's great. Okay. So I'm not going to beat that horse anymore. Uh, you guys be sure to tune in tomorrow. I'm going to show you some very cool things with fonts. Somebody sent me an email and said, can in brilliance use all the fonts on my computer? And it can. And I'm going to show you how tomorrow. I got some very cool stuff. What's with the sound? No, we can't let me be shunned. No, no. Is this, see this thing? You guys, I just, I think the green light would be annoying. Let me put this here. That might be better so it's not under my shirt. 
You guys let me know. Sounds fine. Okay. Yeah. We'll just put that there. I put the light against my skin. I want to see what you guys see. No, whatever. <laughs> How it goes. <laughs> All right. So I'm using my six by 10 hoop this morning and y'all check this out. I have scraps from my no show mesh from previous projects and I have a big stack of them. I just sew them together using a flat seam. So tell me if I have this right. If you scan a picture into your scan and cut, scan and cut turns it into an SVG for me so I can put it in in brilliance and ultimately embroider it to a point. So not a picture, line graphics, a line drawing. Okay. SVGs, they, yeah, it doesn't like blurs. You, eh. All right. Line drawings. Okay. There's a whole different world between line drawings. And it, so for instance, I, there's a reason, all right, that you get this line drawing as opposed to just a picture of the bunny. You can't scan the picture in and create an SVG out of that. That won't work. But you can scan in line drawings and create SVGs. Okay. You sew yours together too? Oh, good, Anne. Yeah. So this is a flat seam. It's not a, it's not where you put right sides together and stitch and fold and iron. These are just flat seams. And that is the join stitch on my embroidery machine. I, I'm sorry, my sewing machine. This I did these on Gypsy. My brother NQ3700D. And I just sew these together. And you guys, when you're making these little quilts like this, where's my U? When you're making these little quilts like this, who cares that there's a seam inside on your stabilizer, right? Meh, no big deal. So, Carol, you're not late. I was. <laughs> you just didn't know that because you weren't here. <laughs> All right. So, if you don't have a um, join stitch on your, I'll show you what one looks like here. If you don't have a join stitch on your machine, just use a really, really wide zigzag, super wide. Okay. You just don't want it to pucker. This is the six by 10 dime hoop. Love. I do like my smaller hoops. Hold on a second. Let me go to sewing. Uh, remove the embroidery frame. I just put that in there. I'll tell it. Okay. I don't have any glasses, y'all. Oh, my word. Let me see. Too big. Let me see if I can find it. I can't see. Uh, no, it's not on this one. So like I, like I said, I think it's on two. Here it is. It looks like that. Can you guys see that? And then what I do, it's 208 on the Luminaire. And then I go into the settings. That's not the right button. Then I go here to the stitch width. Oh, nope. Stitch length. And I make it really, really big like that. There you go. See that? That it's just, it looks like little pavers. <laughs> That's what I think about. You know how you have pavers that go in? That's what it looks like. That's a join stitch. And if you don't have a join stitch, you can use a super wide zigzag. Oh, wrong way. Super wide and make it bigger like that. So that'll work too. Shows y'all how much I use my sewing machine here on the Luminaire. I don't use it a whole lot. 
I have Gypsy, my NQ3700D set up for sewing. That's what I use. No, Katie, no giveaway today. Did I say a giveaway today? I'm going to do it on Friday probably. I didn't get coffee at the last minute either. I'm a mess, y'all. Okie doke. Let's turn this pattern into applique, shall we? Let's do some snapplique. Okay. Turn my camera around. Turn my machine so you can see it. Isn't it cool having everything on wheels? This is awesome. Yeah. Where do I go to find the manual for Embrilliance? It's online, Kim. You can uh, just go online. They have a download. or Okay. I'm using my 12-inch scanning mat. There's Mr. Frog from yesterday. I need to put that back and not lose it. So the first thing I need to do is to get a... Uh, I want a JPEG so I get my a picture of where I need to place all my items. So I'm just going to put my mat in here. There we go. And I'm going to load my mat. Press the load button. This is the black scanning mat. It has a clear flap on it. It's not sticky at all. And this just is, gives me a nice, clean um, scanning surface. You've got two uh, pattern, you've got pattern and scan are the two main menu buttons. Let me zoom you in so you can see the menu. Oh, I need to take my handy dandy power tools with thread USB, you guys. They've got these on our store site. And thank you, Glory, for my, my little tapes that you made me so I can keep track of stuff. I'm going to put this in the scan and cut. All right, that has a light on it so that I can tell when files are working. Can you can you see it's red? It's got red right there. I like that. I like so I know if files are being in use. I can hear Harley barking outside. So if files are in use, I know I'm not going to mess it up while it's doing it. I'm going to scan and to get the JPEG. I'm looking for the JPEG of the. Um, let me show you guys. I jumped ahead and I didn't explain. I've got two. I'm back out. Ow. Y'all, my thumb doesn't bend. Where the doctor took off a bunch of skin on my thumb, I can't bend my thumb. Okay. I'm going to take a JPEG, create a JPEG of this. This So it's just going to be a picture. Okay. This is the layout diagram, placement diagram to tell me how to do this. And then down here, these are my pieces that I need. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is uh, scan to USB because that's how you do the JPEG. So I've got direct cut, scan to cut data and scan to USB. And I'm going to scan to USB and hit start. And it's going to go in super slow because it's scanning in a picture to that USB. That's exactly what you're making right now. Oh. Connie, I'll show you how to uh, make those lines on Stitch Artist. Okay, so it's just going to say uh, save to USB media file name is number nine. So that's good. I'm going to tell it okay. And I can take out the USB now because this is what I'm going to use to put into my computer. Okay. All right. And now same picture. I'm not, I'm not going to take this out. All right. I want to scan to cut data. This is going to create the FCM file that we will turn into the embroidery design. Hi, Ann. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So happy you're here.
I know, Marilyn, I'm playing with Stitch Artist 3 too, and I'm like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Does it have to go to USB? Yes, Janet, it does. In order for, there's only one way to scan to make a JPEG, and that's to USB, because it's not an option otherwise. All right, so there's the whole picture. Let me scan in here. I love optical zoom. Okay. So there's the whole picture. I don't want the whole thing. I'm only wanting those uh, pieces that I want to turn into applique. So there are, there's nothing inside of the applique that I need, like a hole for a donut or anything like that. So this is fine. I just want outside only. So you have outside only, inside, outside, and regions. So I'm going to do outside only. And it can see it. So check this. Can you see in there? It didn't capture anything that is in the um, the layout diagram because the outside line of the day layout diagram is a box and it only captured the outside of that. I'm going to tell it okay. And it's going to process it. And it, it wants to know where do I want to save it? To the machine, to the cloud, or to USB? I want to save it to the cloud. And... Save successful. Awesome. Okay. I am finished with the scan and cut for now. I'm going to tell it okay and go to home. Okay to delete. I'm going to tell it okay and um, eject my mat. All done. Okay. That was easy. That took a minute, right? That wasn't too long. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I'm back. <laughs> Shameless plug, Beaumont, Texas quilt show is March 15th and 16th. Nice, Debbie. Thank you. I'm going to be at the Beaumont Guild mm, next year. Or this, is it this fall? No, it's 2025. Mm -hmm. I think, <clears throat> I think I'll be at the Beaumont Guild. I think. They reached out to me. I can't remember. I've had a lot of them reach out to me. Okay. All right. Let's play with these designs, shall we? Let me get my mouse. I got cords. Where'd y'all go? Where did y'all go? There you are. Okay, doke. You definitely want that scanning mat. Let me get to Brother Canvas. And log in. Frito is in the house somewhere. She's doing good. Yeah. 665 here. Thanks, Lynn. Oh, Lynn's keeping track. Yeah, y'all hit the thumbs up. It's free to do. And if you want to learn more and hang out with us some more, uh, subscribe. I appreciate that. I'm fixing to hit 71,000. Tammy wants to know how my thumb is doing. So I suffered a dog bite on the 29th of February. I've got five stitches in my thumb. And I had uh, infection just scream up my arm. I see that my nice bruise from my IV. And I've got two others. I got one here and one there. Those people are like vampires. And uh, the thumb is fine. I am going to a hand specialist in uh, a local town. I, they're going to call me. So my doctor told me that they sent over the consult yesterday. So far. Yeah, so far. All right. So let me share. Let's get into Canvas Workspace. AQG Branson is this weekend also. Kim, I'm in talks with folks from uh, up there in Branson to come visit you guys and give like a another uh, RV sew together at an RV retreat. So that'll be fun. 
2025. That's in the works. Too fun. All right. So here I am. I'm going to go to my projects. And there is what I'm looking for right there. So when you hover over this thing, you get the edit this project or download. I'm going to edit. And I just want the bunny and the eggs. That's all I'm after. And if it'll come up, that would be awesome. Yeah. So all you need to do, I'm going to put my cursor, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. I'm going to put my cursor kind of right down here and grab and drag. I think I got more than I bargained for. Let me start over here. I want just the eggs, the bunny, and the tail. I'm going to drag them off. I got a few lines I didn't intend. That's okay. And then what you do is you just take your cursor up to the top of the mat and drag it over the whole thing and hit delete on your keyboard. Make sure everything is highlighted and hit delete. All right. Now let me grab. Yeah, I see it won't let me get. It's going to be difficult. So hit delete. There we go. That was easy. All right. Now what I want to do is. Uh, I want to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to right click and group because these are mirrored. So now that it, they are all one object, I can go edit and flip horizontal. There we go. And then now I want to move the fabrics, move these designs so that they're in separate places on the mat. Whoop, right click, ungroup, goofy. So there's an egg. And there's an egg and here's an egg. Okay. And then these are both in white. So that'll work. I'm going to, I guess he's fine. Let me move him up just a little bit. Perfect. I want to rename this so it saves. And I'm going to tell it uh, OWL, which is on Wander Lane, Bunny Mini. Okay. And come over to the project tab and hit the inbox with an arrow with a plus sign. There we go. So now we're going to do two different downloads. Okay, I'm going to download it twice. Hit that ginormous download button. I'm going to download to PC. This is what is going to become our embroidery file. And it says OWL. There's my FCM. That's that graphic file. Okay, and now I'm going to click it one more time on scan and cut transfer. I'm going to click this and it's going to send that back down to the scan and cut. It's all done so I can cut out my pieces. All right, I'm all finished with Brother Canvas. This is so fun, you guys. Oh my goodness. Boom. You're missing your show? What's going on, y'all? I'm. I thought I was your show. <laughs> I did. I changed my cursor because y'all were fussing at me. I can't see. I can't see. That's well, just fine. I'm here. I'm here for you. <laughs> All right. Let me get a mat. I went and got my 24 inch scanning mat out of the motorhome yesterday. I bought this at All Brands in Lafayette. They've got them if you need the 24 inch. You're going to need a 24 inch cutting mat for sure if you're doing the Happy Halloween quilt or the Merry Christmas with us. Now, look, I didn't put a cover on this, and I got Frito fur on my sticky mat. Now, I'm using the purple mat, but it's not that sticky. Let me move this backwards. I haven't seen Betty Boop on here this morning. She made this little mini quilt for me that my scan and cut is sitting on. It used to be hanging on a wall, and it fell off the wall. The command didn't. The command uh, hook gave up. So I was like, well, I need a little mat for underneath my scan and cut anyway, right? Oh, let me. Now, I don't remember where I put what egg. I've got all kinds of Frito fur on this. This is terrible. Frito, where are you? Y'all put your covers on your mats. That's why. 
And I vacuum every day. Oh my gosh, there's so much dog fur on here. All right, so my bunny, I'm gonna peel this. I've got heat and bond light on the back. I made my pieces last night because I'm cool like that. So he's kind of like this on a slant. And I don't remember which egg I put where. Where's the, did I take the pattern out of the scanning mat? I did, okay. Egg number three is this big pink one. Oh, I know what the problem is. The doggy door cover is still on the doggy door and she can't come in. That's the problem. I got to get her, you guys. She's all upset. Hello, Frito. Hi, baby. How did you do it? Oh, my goodness. Yes, I miss you. Let me get that. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. There. Come on, dad, a girl. Everybody's missing you. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I have the doggy door covered. Here she is. There's my baby. Hello. <laughs> there she is. Good morning. <laughs> oh, yes, I miss you. My good girl. Yes. I had the doggy door covered while I was doing my live yesterday with Sewing Machines Plus. <laughs> Sorry about that. I could hear her scratching. I'm like, why didn't she come through that door? Okay. So let's get back. And then egg number two is which one? The picture. I have to do it just like the picture or I because I don't have any thoughts of my own for creativity. Put egg number two right here. And then egg number one is this orange one. Y'all, this is the fabric from On Wander Lane. I got um, all of the, I got On Wander Lane one and two. And I put them, where's my thing? I've got them right back here. There it is. That's all the fabric for On Wander Lane right there, those bundles. So if you can't find it, it's Whisper Weave by Benertex is what she uses for background fabrics. All right, so I've got my fabric on my mat and let's go into the Scan and Cut and get our design. Let me load this quickly. Hopefully that holds. I hope that holds. I don't want it to unstick. I think that one's going to unstick. Do I have some tape around here? I'm afraid that one's going to unstick, you guys. I've got some KK2000 from Selkie. Good stuff. Yeah, that's, that's not going to stick. Now it is. Yeah, these are terrible. Whatever works, you guys. Oh, I did back this piece with SF 101. I mirrored the image, Kim, because the layout diagram has the bunny head pointing this direction and the pieces have the, they're mirrored. The designer mirrored them. And they did that because they assume that you are going to Um, is that right? Yeah, that's fine. They assume that you are going to trace this on heat and bond light on a light box or on a window or something like that. 
and then flip the fabric over. Okay, so this is good. You need a page of helpful hints? Story time, you want to write it up for me? I'll pay you. Okay, so let's get in here and take a look at this. All right, on this main menu on the scan and cut, you've got pattern and scan, okay? And these are this pattern, these are patterns that were in the machine when you bought it. So my bunny wouldn't be there. When you touch this, you get fonts or shapes and fonts and borders and frames and all that. In order to get the bunny that I just sent down from Brother Canvas, you have to go to retrieve data. We don't want the scan because we've already fiddled with that. And it wants to know where do you want to get the data from? You can get it from inside the machine or the cloud, a USB, or you might be cabled to your computer. I want to get it from the cloud because that's where I sent it down from. And it's going to pull up the last thing that you did. There's my bunny. That looks great. Okay. So now what I want to do, this is where the scan and cut makes its money, you guys. We've got the, um, the little scanner box here. It looks like a mat with a bar across it. I'm going to touch that and hit start. And it's going to pull in the mat and take a picture of what it sees on the mat. You don't have to worry about exactly placing your fabrics in the right spot because you can do that at this step right here. You just need to get them on there. Let me get you. I want to get you in good so you can see what I'm up to here. Oh, that looks really good. That was pretty close, wasn't I? Look at that. Oh, let me show you guys something. I want to show you a trick. I need a pen. What do we got? Hot. Kathy, thank you for the sticker. I appreciate that. I want to show you guys a trick. Let me back out. You haven't used it, Sandy, to your CM230? All right. I'm taking an ink pen, and I'm going to mark on this white fabric up in the corners and on the sides this is going to be cut away, so it doesn't matter. But I forgot to do this last night. <clears throat> now, I'm going to scan this again, okay? And start. Do it one more time so I can see what I'm doing here. <clears throat> you can flip around light fabrics, dark fabrics with the wrench. Um, when you're using white or something that is the same color as the mat, that's kind of iffy. All righty. I can barely see. I can barely see those marks. So let me go into wrench. Let me go to light background and hit okay. There we go. Look at that. Now I can see. See, I would have I would have messed this up. Look at that. His little foot was off the white. I'm going to take this. That's just a little tip, you guys. Move my bunny where he goes. That looks good. I like that. All right, now this egg. See, now these are hard to see because these are dark backgrounds. So let me go back to the wrench and go to dark background and tell it okay. There, now this is easier to see. And I want to rotate this. I'm going to go to edit, object edit, and the rotate. And let me rotate it a couple of times and get it so it's diagonal cut. This one I want to rotate just for the pattern. And then this guy just needs to be here in the middle. Is that right? This is wrong. This is wrong. Where's my picture? My big egg is the pink dots. Hold on. This one goes here. And then this egg is egg number one, which goes on my, there, I had it backwards. Okay, and then that's egg number two. 
Perfect. There we go. I'm going to tell it okay and okay. Got to back out of those menus, y'all. One more time. So insecure. Please select, cut, and start. Okay. This is cool, isn't it, Kathleen? It's very cool. A lot of fun. Over and over and over. Wash, rinse, repeat. That's what we do. And, you know, practice makes... You just, after a while, you'll get to where I can... You'll think, I can knock that out in five minutes. It'd be going a lot faster if I wasn't talking to y'all. I'm out of coffee. Oh, I'll be fine. Don't forget his tail. There we go. <laughs> Yay. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's an egg. Look at that. And another egg. And another egg. Hooray. And a bunny with a tail. How cool is that? Love it. Now I take these little pieces right away and I will put them in the tray on top of my luminaire so that nobody gets a desire to go on a tour of my sewing room and disappear because they will. Is the cute look. Oh, how do I get the little scissors on my scan and cut machine? That's a charm I got from somewhere. <clears throat> I just stuck it on there. Okay. Now I got to use some wipes on my mat and get all the Frito fur off. That was irresponsible. That's not normal for me, you guys. I'm usually pretty good about that. Okay. I got my eggs and they're perfect. Thank you, Susan. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the sticker. I wanted to ask you guys. YouTube is on me to create uh, monthly memberships. Not much, like three bucks. And I, you'd get a little star next to your name. And can I use patch attach instead of heat and bond? No, 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 <laughs> no. Uh oh, sorry. Hold on, something happened. Got you. Okay. No, no, you don't want to do that. That'll be thick like a brick. You do not want to do that. That will totally mess up your quilt. It'll feel real stiff, like a flak vest. See, okay, so you guys are saying you're in on, Kaylee says that. So instead of doing like super stickers or whatever, or you could still do that, but it would be a monthly subscription, but you'd get a star by your name. You'd have special emojis you could get to. And when you make a comment, I would mention you if you want on there. So I don't know, thinking about it. YouTube takes 30% of that <laughs> plus taxes. So I don't know. All right. I need to make the embroidery design now. Where are we at on time? We've got six minutes left to our hour. Okay. So you guys would join a membership. Okay. Well, if all of it went to me, it'd be great. Yeah. But that's not how the world works, right? I'm using their platform. How much more work would it be for me? Not much. Not much. Thank you. You would absolutely join because so, you know, I'm thinking, okay, three bucks a month. It just goes on your credit card, right? And just automatic. You don't have to do anything. You would join. Okay. I just wanted it. I wish all of it went to me. That's not how it is. If I'm using their platform, they're going to get their cut. That's just how it goes. I know the hour flew by. Okay. So does all of the super sticker money go to me? No, it doesn't, but that's okay. Marilyn, thank you so much for your super sticker. You're awful thoughtful. Thank you. It'd probably be cheaper for you guys because you guys will give me a sticker like one month and then the next month more. And I think you can do a custom. I can do differing, different levels. I'll, I'll think about it, you guys. You would join in a New York Minute. Okay. All right. Awesome.
Now, it's not going to include private chats or different videos for you guys or any of that because um, I don't have the bandwidth for that. But what it does do is it allows you, no for you, that's fine, Chris. Yeah. But what it does is it allows you to, um, you know, and if you can't afford it, don't do it by all means. There's, you know, it's not a thing. But. Oh, you have more than five minutes. I started late. You're right, Julianne. Okay, so let's play with some brilliance, shall we? <laughs> yeah, that's a good reason to keep going, isn't it? Because I started late. All right, I'm going to get my USB and I'm going to put it in my laptop because I got to get the picture for the layout. Dang it. I've got a short somewhere. Oh, hold on a minute. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. Let me put this in here. I can't, dang it. I'm having USB port shortages. Thank you for this super sticker. Is it Kofid's Sandy's Stampin' Grounds and Crafts? You guys, it's going to go black again. I'm, I've got to do something here. Sorry about that. Okay. The issue is my HDMI capture card isn't snug in the USB port. It's not internet gremlins. It's, I know exactly what that is. Okay. You got to leave for a class. Bye, Maureen. Have a good day. If you have a question, you can send me an email. I'm pretty good about answering emails. Would I stop situation room? No, no, no. Oh, somebody yesterday made a comment under the video and said that I had been doing this for a year already. So I started live streaming last March on March 8th. So it was this, would it eliminate commercials on replay? No, Debbie, you have to be a member of YouTube premium in order to not have commercials. I pay for that. It's like, it's like $12.99 a month is my rate because I joined a while ago. Man, it's worth every penny. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. YouTube is already cancel. Oh, collecting your data in the chat. Who is early and late? Who has cats and dogs? Oh, really? Yeah, that's called an algorithm. Yeah, that does that. Anyway, uh. No, 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 no. Severe macaw. No, no. So if I do a membership and you don't join, does that mean you could? No, it's still free. Absolutely free. You can still watch all you want. Thank you, Nancy. I thank you very much for that sticker. That's very nice. So, um, yeah, I started live streaming in March of last year, March 8th. And I was doing once, maybe twice a week. And then August 28th is when I started the situation room Monday through Friday. So. Yeah, that's why you would not pay for a membership unless I categorized my material for easy searches and there were fewer IT glitches. Yeah, Sherry, I understand that. That, that I respect that. That's fair. So what, what I do like is I will go in and change the title. The problem with, the problem with YouTube searches, <clears throat> it'll only search us on the title. Bye, Dave. You have a koala and a giraffe. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> Take those on the plane with you. Oh, it ended? It should have gone on. Oh, anyway. Oh, Michelle, you don't have to pay it. You don't have to pay it. It's an option. That's it. You don't have to do it. All right. Anyway. Um. Where was I? Oh, you would join. You're not sure if a new viewer. Oh, I see. That's fine. That's going to be confusing for you guys. I'm not going to do it. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. It would be confusing. All right. All righty. It's not worth three bucks to me for you guys to 
get confused on all that. All right. So I was talking about something and then I answered a question. Oh, March 8th anniversary. Thank you, Dave. So March 28th is when I started Situation Room and went from there. That's when I started the dailies. But yeah, so Fat Quarter Shop offers members only content. I can't do that. I don't, I can't do that. Yeah, because that would mean more time in front of the camera than I do already. And I can't do that. So I need to get uh, in brilliance opened up and running. I promised you guys some more time. Uh, yeah, I see that there, I don't have stitch artist three. I don't have the new update on this one. I need to do that. I think I do. Yeah, I have to change the title of the episode. Otherwise, you can't find it. It does not search on the description box. It searches on the title. So I have to kind of put, you know, that's why this one says on Wander Lane, Bunny Knoll. So you know that that's where this was. You are looking for the video with the Lori Holt support group quilt. I didn't do a sew along for support group. I just made that quilt and showed it to you guys. Okay, so we've got this up and let me get into Stitch Artist. So I'm gonna click on the sundial button and I wanna go to image and I need to get into my USB image folder. It's number nine and open and I can't see it and it's, there it is. All right, so this is not the right scale. That This is why it's not a big deal to put a, like a JPEG on the website. That's no big deal or into our Facebook group because it's not the right size. Now I need to bring in my vector graphic. So let me go to vector. It's in my downloads. There's my bunny mini and tell it open. Now what I want to do, click on image and I want to scale it so that that bunny is about the same size and put it kind of where it needs to go. See that? I would need to rotate it just a little bit. Oh, he's way too small. This is, okay. You can fiddle around with this till you drop over dead, you guys. Okay, that is pretty close. Good enough for government work. So now I know the image is in the right, now I know the image is the right scale. Okay, so Highlight all. I'm going to get out of Stitch Artist. I want to center in the hoop. Okay, it is. Well, not yet. That's fine. Go back to Stitch Artist. Okay, and now I'm just going to click on um, this egg and put it right there. And this egg and put it right here. And this egg and put it right here and my bunny tail and put it right there. Okay, that'll work, okay? It's not perfect and that's fine, it doesn't have to be. So now let me make the design go away, the image go away. That looks pretty good. And I want to center the whole thing in the hoop Get out of Stitch Artist, and there's my center in the hoop button right there. Perfect. All right, now this is a stitch order. Let's get back into Stitch Artist. Okay, this is a stitch order. So the first thing to go down is going to be the bunny. I want to pick it up, pick it, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm going to make the image last. Right click, move last. Okay, bunny tail, right click and move first. So the tail will go down, and then the bunny. 
And then this egg goes down first. I'm going to grab it on the picture, drag it up, hover it over the one I want it to be after. So there's that egg. Then I want this egg, hover it over the one I want it to be after, and this one. So in the stitch order now, it's going to go tail, bunny, egg three, egg two, egg one. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. All right. Let me. I'm just going to get this. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard and get rid of that so it's not part of the design. Doesn't matter if you leave it. I've um, control A to select all. And I want to turn it into applique. And that E stitch applique button is right there. And I did it all. Now, I do not want the blanket stitches right here underneath this egg. Okay. So easy to do this. You go up to create outline, and I'm just going to reconstruct outline just to make everything, make sure everything is straight. Okay. And all I'm going to do now is save it. So reconstruct outline. If any of those vector graphics were broken, they will now be put back together. Because if they're broken, you can't remove those stitches unless you turn each piece into its own embroidery design, then merge them into one, and then hit the little scissor button to remove stitches. I know that's a lot, but we're just messing here. Okay. So I'm going to save as stitch and working and let's save it as OWL bunny mini. And now let's take a look at it and see if it worked. So I'm going to open a new tab and let me do my open downloads. I want the PES, which is the embroidery file. That looks like that worked already. And Click open. Excellent. Now, when these are very close together like this, you will not get those stitches to be removed. And that's okay. But it did remove them here at the base of the tail and on that one. And that's fine. That looks really good. So when you're in the one here, this is where you would change. You can click on, let me jump into Stitch Artist. It says applique. That's where the applique tab is, and you can change your stitch width. So we have E stitch on this one. You can change it to a blanket. Oh, hold on. Control Z. Let me highlight the whole thing. Oops. <laughs> what was I doing? I went to the zigzag on that. Let me go back to E stitch. There we go. You can change the whole thing and just click on this and. You can do a satin stitch if you want. Look at that. So that's cool too. Yeah. But I am going to use the E stitch on this bunny. And that looks really good. So now what I need to do, I'm just going to leave that like that. I think that looks fine on that E stitch. I'm going to go up here to utility and send to Solaris XP1. I do not have the update. I need to update this software. And we'll call it bunny and tell it okay. And it's going to say file sent to machine. Okay, all done. Was that on black the whole time? Oh my. Was that on black the whole time? And Brilliance does have an instruction book, not a book, it's got a PDF download. Okay. Oh, good. It wasn't good. So you could see it. All right. Thank you. So that's how simple that was. So scan in the paper pattern, create your cut file, clean up the image up in the canvas. So you can do it on, on the machine, but it, that's a pain. Create the cut file. It's just breaking down the steps, just breaking down the steps and create the cut file and then cut out your pieces. Go into Embrilliance, create your embroidery design, send it to your machine. I'm ready to stitch this out. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, Jill. You can search my channel for support group. I think you can go into YouTube search and just search Power Tools with Thread support group. And I bet you a couple videos come up on that. When do I add the handwriting? I'm going to do that. We'll do it tomorrow when we finish up this. 
I'm going to do it in the Luminaire. I will show you how to do it on the Imbrilliance. Okay. I, it's tedious to do it in Imbrilliance. Thank you, Brenda. That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. There's not a Mull Queens code. There's not a code for Mull Queens, but if you order from them, um, I don't think, is there a Mull Queen code? I can't remember. Oh, there is. It's not a discount code. It's a promo code. And I think you get a free gift with purchase if you use the promo code. That's how that works. Will I stitch all in the same color? No, I've picked my colors out already. I've got them right up here. I picked those out this morning before I started the video. Okay, you guys, you got an extra 11 minutes from me because I was late. Sorry. This was fun. So join me tomorrow. We are going to stitch down the little mini quilt. We're going to make that in the embroidery machine that we made today. Bye, Candice. Have a great day. And then um, we're going to talk some about fonts tomorrow. Okay. My scan and cut is the SDX325. I've got a link to it below. Okay. All right. This has been fun. I love doing this with you guys because I'm getting my projects finished too. <laughs> All right. We will talk to you later. You guys have an amazing day. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and go sew something. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.